Welcome to today's video by Troy Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talk video. So on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how our previous review went and if it was approved or if it was rejected. Now, um, a quick information guys. Usually when um, you have a copyright claim on your video and you appeal for it or you actually remove the sound, they don't, they don't send you a message on that. But if it's a whole video that you appealed for, um, YouTube is going to send you a message telling you how it went, if it's successful or if it was declined. But on this case, on our previous video, it was a copyright claim of the sound on some section of our video, which we removed. So I'm going to be showing you guys how that went and also more way to discover um, a copyright strike on your video. So let's go over to um, studio.youtube.com. I already have it open, so no need for me to type it. So, but on your case, just type in studio.youtube.com. Now, this is the previous video right here. So um, on that pre previous video, normally to view that copyright or to appeal or to remove that particular sound from your video, you need to click on view option. This is actually what I did on my previous video. So um, you notice it says um, not affected. The reason why it's green right now is because um, it has been approved and the copyright has been removed. Initially, there was no monetization on that particular video. And also um, it was public, but there is no, um, this area was red and this area was also red, indicating that no monetization will be on that particular video. And you notice right now it says no copyright content was found in your video and which is actually very okay, which means our previous um our previous move to remove the sound on the copyright was successful so i'm going to go ahead and close this out and then you notice i ha also have another video right there that was actually copyrighted and uh, the reason was because i used a particular sound i played a particular video on this video and when they um, asked me i actually appealed for this video and let me click on it to show you I actually appeared on this video and said every content on it was um, a, a review and I was making a tutorial video but it was actually you notice it's blocked and ineligible for monetization and so if you notice there is a particular video I remade on my content and this um, this is the name of the video right there I made this content twice but I think that particular video is no longer displaying for the audience because it has a copyright on it and this is the session where it has a copyright on and you notice the video is three minutes long so I can actually remove that particular um, stuff, that particular content, but instead I dispute the video entirely saying that I used this particular option instead of using the replace sound or trimming out that particular section. But we can actually trim out that particular section, but funny enough, I appealed and also I recreated the video and uploaded it. So I no longer need this particular information or this particular video any longer, but this is actually what I did. You can only do this when you did not use the person's song or when the song or the sound was originally yours. But funny enough, it wasn't originally mine. So when I appealed for this, it was rejected. And all I need to do right now is to trim out the song and re-upload that video. But I no longer need that video. So I'm going to close that out right there. And then another thing I want to show you guys on today's video is actually how to discover um, content that have um, copyright claim on them. So come over to your content section, click on it and wait for it to load. It might take a while depending on your internet speed. All right. Okay, now the content has loaded up. So these are all my video. You can notice they are all neat. They are not showing any issue. Now to know only the content that has copyright claim on them, click on this filter section right there, um, this arrow next to the filter. Click on that and you are going to notice some options right there. So you are going to notice where it has copyright claim option. Click on that. When you click on that, it's going to show you all of the video that has copyright claim on them and it's actually only one you notice it says the video is blocked which means it's not visible and this is also not eligible so um you can also click on this edit section to actually appeal for this video or um you can either appeal or delete the video forever because this particular video i do not have any use for it any longer but i'm going to delete that later on but if for some reason on your case you can click on edit and you can come over to the monetization section hold on you can come over to the monetization section and you will see that um, this video is not monetized hold on you notice it's not eligible for monetization so you can click on this section to say see detail 
So when you click on this area, it's going to pop up the same detail like the previous area. So from here, you can click on this three dotted icon and then click on trim out section. So you are going to be able to trim out that section of your video, which is going to be very easy for you to do. But if you have any issue doing this, just let me know on the comment section. But I don't think you have any issue doing this because it's very easy. So that is all I want to show you guys on today's video. This is actually what happened when I reviewed or uh, when I appealed for my previous video and it was successful. So um, if you have any question regarding this, please leave it on the comment section. Hopefully I'll be able to address that and I will see you guys on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.